Uh, this is a spot that um, you have seen a ton of pictures of on our licking sticks. We used to have that ground blind on the ground here, or it was a, it wasn't really a ground blind, it was a blind, but we had it on the ground. Um, we had that licking stick set up in the camera and the, and the blind in the background. Now we're gonna we're gonna do a little upgrading this year for a couple different reasons. We've changed the food plot around um, with that field turning from hay to corn. We were able to kind of keep a section of hay, so it's clover and alfalfa. Some of it got kind of what winter killed, huh? Mm -hmm. It froze out or whatever. So the bad spots that aren't real good, we've tilled up. Wyatt tilled them up yesterday, yesterday or the day before. Yesterday. Sprayed it off, tilled it up, and we're going to put a brassica blend into it. Um, this is a really good spot youth hunt, uh, early season in youth hunt, especially before that corn comes off. So what we've decided to do is we're upgrading. We're going to put a shadow hunter in here. Um, but we're going to elevate it. Not a ton, but we're going to get it up enough that we can actually see into the woods. There's good trails on the other side here. Um, be able to shoot into the woods and cover this field. But I think um, one of the things we wanted to do is show how easy, how, how I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's not super difficult um, to install one of these and put it up elevated. Um, Wyatt with two blind guys has done a ton of them, probably knows the most efficient ways of doing it. Um, and so what we wanted to do is kind of just document how we're gonna put these things, how we're gonna set this one up in particular. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of guys, you know, if you're not going up too high, a tractor or a skid steer with pallet forks works well if you can get there with it. Um, seems like most guys, you know, don't always have that equipment. Um, so you can do this on the ground, and I think there's videos from Shadow Hunter that have them elevating this on the ground. Um, I like to get it up on a trailer, just usually I got to haul it to the site anyway, so I've got the trailer there. Um, but this helps get it off the ground and get it started. Uh, so this is kind of, I've got it set up how we would begin our setup. Um, get to the site, figure out where you want to go. Of course, if we want the blind to land over here, we got to account for that space. And uh, we're going to end up with somewhere around uh, probably eight foot legs on this one. Um, we've got a grade here, so I like to kind of factor that in. And actually on this one, it's a little bit different. Um, normally I would tip it into its spot and we would level it out. But on this one, we're actually going and we want the, the steps coming off to the north. So we're actually gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So there'll be a little extra step in it there, but um, this is where we'd start. So I've got the four by fours kind of laid out, two on each side. Uh, I use two by four cross braces. My general rule of thumb is cross brace should be about two feet longer than your legs. Um, so if you're doing eight foot setup, 10 foot legs, these are 12 foot or 12, 10 foot cross braces. These are 12 footers, so we'll end up cutting some of those off. Um, these are some four by fours that I had from a, a previous demo, uh, demo uh, that I had sitting out. Uh, and I'm recycling some elevators, so I didn't have to open up a new box there. Um, but I've kind of got it set up, left side, right side. Um, if you've got two ladders, it helps. You don't have to move your ladders around. Uh, but um, we'll kind of walk you through it. Um, the first step for us is just going to be to take this blind and what we want to do is get it laying on its back. So usually we elevate with the door facing up, uh, laying on its back so we don't damage this. But we're going to rest it on a block just to get it up in the air a little bit. Uh, if you don't have that ability, you can dig into the ground so your legs are, are sitting into the, into the ground. Uh, but we're going to pull it forward. And then we're going to tip it back and rest it on a couple of boards in the back so we don't um, you know, damage any of this. So the back of the blind is going to lay on the trailer? Correct. Okay. Back of the blind will lay on the trailer. And then this is going to end up along the front underneath it. And that just, again, gets us up in the air a little bit. Um, so when we get to pull it, um, we're kind of already part way, we're part way there rather than being down on the ground. I've already got the UTV back in the in the woods where we're going to pull from. Um, if I can, I like to pull uphill, um, less chance of tipping them over. I've never tipped one over all the way. Um, I've tipped a couple towards downhill. It's just a little dicier. Yeah. <laughs> um, with these, I try to pull from the door side. Um, it just seems to be the, the best way for it. So we're going to drag this forward almost to the edge. And then we're going to back end will almost be to the yep. Okay. And then we're going to tip it over. So this model here weighs probably somewhere around 400 pounds, um, give or take. So usually a couple guys can handle this. 
Okay. So we're just going to lift and pull. So just going to take it. Yep. Close. I'm about eight inches. There you go. Right. I'm about there. Okay, Dad, are you back there? I'm back. Okay, so okay, we're going to so tip gonna it back to him. Yeah. Now this is where a lot of guys will fight each other. Okay. So Jerry, you can let go probably. Okay. You, you feel? Come back there. A lot of guys will feel like there is going to be a ton of weight back there. It's really not that bad. So they start fighting each other on it. And you guys can lay it down onto those deck boards. There you go. Then we'll come back up to the front. And we'll just slide that underneath, underneath it. Huh? And maybe bring it towards the edge. There you go. So, again, you can do this from the ground. Uh, we've done them in place where you couldn't get in there real well, but nice working height. And then we'll start attaching elevators. With the elevators, they're angled two directions. So they're angled that way and out. So I'll show you the wrong way. If I put this one on here, that's gonna be angled in, right? right? So this one's gotta be here, okay? So we'll grab the hardware. I got them right here, Jerry. You got the hardware? So, To attach the elevators, I use, this is the Torx head, the star head bit, just a uh, inch and a half leg. Um, and we'll just run around and pop those on. So we'll, there'll be six of them that ultimately go in there. We'll go back through and fill all the rest of them in. Should I do that? Before? Go ahead, yep. So six, do all six. We do all six. And if you got a guy with the construction, construction background, you know, things really start to move. And you're lucky. If the fender on the trailer is blocking one or something, you can always add it later, but... Yeah. Where, the, where the thing kind of hits the metal... Yep. You don't shoot it through the metal, you just kind of snug it tight to it? Yeah, that'd be the easiest, probably. Did I get the top or not? Cycle teenagers putting legs in. Legs are, legs are, so, okay. That's step one. Um, I guess it, I'll make a note here. Before they made the uh, adjustable ladder platform, and that goes five to 10 feet. Uh, I guess technically you could go two feet, but we used to build a platform that we would hang on here. So some of the older blinds we have. Yeah, that can't yeah. leave it out, right? Or right, yep, so they're attached here with joist hangers, yep. and then the treated decking platforms coming off the top. That's another reason why if you're not using that and you're gonna put a platform on it, there are directions for that too, but this is seems to be the easiest now, but 
So we're at this point and um, now you kind of start to see the value in having it up in the air a little bit because when you put these elevators on the legs and because they're angled out um, both directions it goes into the it go into the ground so if you're flat on the ground you're going to be digging a pretty big hole just to get those set so if you can get it up that helps um, you know trying to run that four by four as close to the same angle as this so that's straight um, these look pretty good and uh, we're probably ready to attach those. So for these, um, I kind of look at my holes and some of these are straight across. So I like to use, um, I use the same same ones. Because okay. um, I look at, some people think these are kind of small. Like, well, if you go any longer, you know, you right. could get a little bit more, but you're just going to be running into each other. Right. Um, so what I'll have you do, Jerry, is you can fill, there's uh, two on each side and one on the top and one on the bottom. You do them all? I do them all. If you did want to put any bigger ones in, I do have some like, bigger legs that you could go here where they're not going to hit other ones. You know what I mean? Right. So you can go ahead. And so that'll suck that one over. Then I'll end up, we'll end up taking, on this blind, we'll probably end up taking out one of these screws to put in the eye screws for the cable. Okay. But we'll fill them now. I don't have my tool belt on. Okay. I'm done. You're done? Okay. And once these get up, I mean, the screws aren't really doing much anymore. Right, the weight is, yeah. All down. Just waiting on you, big guy. Yeah, I don't know if I can get this one or not. That one I'll probably wait and do later. I won't even really need to. Okay, so then we get to the upper legs. Now these legs are all the same length. Now they're gonna be different later on. So one of the things that we like to do Especially with longer legs now, that platform is adjustable up to 10 feet. So hard to get any legs longer than that if you're gonna use that platform. And to be honest with you, I've elevated these at 16 feet, way too high. 12 feet, 10 feet, it hardly, did. I don't know if it gets you anything that right. eight feet doesn't. So I always say, look at your topography and your terrain and where you're trying to get your shots. That'll determine how high to put the blind and what type of windows you need. Um, but with these, sometimes what we like to do is I might, I'll take a three inch screw just cause I don't like a lot of weight up above and I'll take one of our cross braces, get it back here in the weeds a little bit. Um, you want to tack that in there now? Okay. And then, yeah, Jerry, you just slide that up into the sleeve and yeah. And now we can start to, you know, manipulate this a little bit with how high do we need it? I'm getting hung up on some stuff here, but. Uh, you probably, you're probably a bulk good right there. Yeah. Down a little bit. Right yeah. Up, up just a little maybe. Something like that. Right, up a little, up a little bit. Good, right there. I think. Does that look good to you? So we do this on both sides, and uh, it is good to step back and. Screw it? Yeah. It's good to step back and look and see if your legs are coming out at the same angle. Um, this depends on how fussy you are. And then I'll leave this here until I need that cross brace. Just takes a little weight off of it. I like how these kind of suck tight. Like the, the, yeah, the metals, I mean, it's solid stuff, but. And these posts are a little bit, well, they're a year old or more, maybe two years. 
so they got a little twist in them but sometimes the lumberyard will give you a pretty good deal on their twisted posts up a touch I think that's probably close I need that drill. That enough? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put this one. Okay, so now we're gonna cross brace. And when I do it, a lot of guys will just use screws. Um, it's probably okay, um, but I guess I, I use screws to tack the cross braces on and then I'm gonna drill holes and put bolts in. So we'll kind of walk through that process. Right now we're just gonna take two by fours, cross brace, tack them in with three inch screws, okay. and then I'll run around and I'll drill them out um, and then put in the three eighths by six carriage bolts. Okay, so, you need a two-by? Yep. Tubifer? Tubifer. And when I run these, and Ben, maybe I'll come over here and... I try to get them as close to the same as possible. So I'm going to run this so it covers all the way. I'm going to put my screw in kind of off to the side. So when I put in my bolt, I've got plenty of room. Now up here, this is a longer leg, gonna be a longer leg when we rotate it. This is gonna be the downhill side. Does that look all right up there? Yep, good. Okay. Um, this is gonna be our our uphill legs. You want me to leave this? Or Let's leave that there right now, because I wanna see. So just let it rest on that. Some of these are gonna, these are gonna, it's about a 16 inch grade, eight, 16 to 18 inches from where our top legs and our bottom legs are gonna be. So I know. Excuse I know that, let me grab a, I know that a good portion of these two legs are going to get cut off. I've actually already marked it. So I got a line here and a line here. So at a, these two are going to go here. They're going to end up, yep. we're going to tip it. They're going to land up here. Then we're going to spin. And so the, well, the, these two, these yeah. two legs are going to be on the uphill side and shorter. So it complicates things a little bit, yep. but I'm just thinking ahead. Yep. So I don't want to run my cross braces all the way down to here right. because these legs are going to end up short. So I would say, let's come back off of that line, maybe another six inches. So I'm going to just put a mark there. That's where it'll likely be cut off uh, the, close to it. So that line is where it's, it'll get cut off right. or buried to. Right. That's where I'm gonna run my cross brace to. So I'm just gonna take it back. Does that make sense? Again, if, it, if this were level ground, you don't have to think about any of that stuff. Okay, so you got a screw, long screw? I do. So we'll go to... You can go on that side? We're gonna shoot one on that side. Right? Yep. I'll go up on the ladder then. Yeah. Flip this. Yeah, no, we got it right. Sometimes they're bowed a little bit. Is that good right there? Or do you want to walk it? Take that corner right up to the elevator. I can't see what you got. You're probably there. Okay. So I'm going to go to that. Here's about where the leg's going to end up give myself a little room, this will probably get cut off. But now you see why you want your cross braces a little bit long. 10 footers would have been real nice on here, but our lumber yard doesn't sell this particular tree to lumber in 10 foot lengths. Okay. So now, you're gonna screw that one and leave this one loose? Yep, and then what we'll probably have to do is cut off some of that one. Right, before, and then screw And you could do it now, or I'll just zip it off when I... You'll wanna do it before you tip it up. Yes. 
In fact, we'll probably do it right now. Okay, so I'll hold this up. Or... Yeah, we're looking at, if I get her there, I think we'll be okay, huh? Oh, better get a battery. We'll just rough cut it for now. And there we go. Imagine that line going straight through and... Right there. Yep. Portable tools sure help. I probably screwed that up. As long as it holds for now, then we'll just go through and drill the hole. I'm lost without my tool belt on. Okay. Okay, same thing on the other side. You're gonna cut this one? Already did. Okay. Um, oh, we didn't screw that one. Yeah, dude. This one. Okay. Um, I should double check something here just because. Um, that one don't ha won't have a mark. Oh, right. But I do, I do like to make sure that they're coming across at about the same spot. Just my, assuming those are the same length. Out there? What does that look like? That's pure, this is purely cosmetic. Looks real good. So all you did was just looked at those X's to line up. Yeah, I just wanted, to, wanted to look nice. Okay. A little bit. 96 to the center? 99. 99 to the center? 99. 99. I like it. Okay. okay. Now. We'll go up top. This is going to cross above the below and below the uppers. So if you actually, yeah, you take that one there, I'll go down here. So I'll bring it all the way here. Just when it crosses that two by four, right? So you get full coverage, you're good to go. Like it? Yeah, do you want it flush to this? Um, or I usually run it like that. Okay. And then this, again, these are gonna get bolted, right? Yep. So shoot it through the side. I suppose, you know, theoretically, someone could just drill their holes right away, but. Mine would never line up. Um, you know, this is a good time to, you know, there's a little play here, so you wanna just, you don't wanna put too much pressure on it one way or the other. And let's get it where it sits. Take those off. And Jerry, while you're up there. Oh, 
Oh, this one's not screwed. That one's not screwed yet. Oh, I forgot to do that one. So, you push that up probably. Until you like the angle. Oops. Um, I think you go up a little bit with it. That's probably good. Let me step back, take a peek. And that will probably go... Below? I think so. Just looking at the length of it. Below? Below, below. That screw was... I dropped one right there and I dropped it second. Um, I don't think I have my magnet with me. Pull that one out. We're gonna. I'll flip it. You got one more screw on you, Jer? Yeah. I want you to do that bottom one there. I'm gonna take this bigger battery though. You can do that. All right. So there's your kind of framework. Now a lot of guys, like I said, might just load that up with screws, maybe legs and um, I just think bolts for longevity. So I'm just gonna round, there'll be 16 spots where I gotta put a bolt in. Drill, you drill it with, okay, that one. Yep. And then you'll be able to. And your hardware is. Oh, you're gonna do it with the. That on there. So I just use a 916 socket on my impact. The only thing to look out for here is that your bolts clear each other. That sounded about right. Which one looks sharper?
anchors down the side. You get Give me one more nut. It's gonna pop out the bottom screw on each side. That'll give us a spot for the eye screw and we'll tighten those down. So that's for our cable. Um, there is an anchor system that you can use, but it's, um, it fastens to the legs and uses rebar that you drive in but they don't suggest it on soft soil it's pretty sandy back here so we'll get the earth anchors later and cable it down So now we're at the point where kind of double check our bolts. A lot of these we'll trim off later. Um, sometimes they're nice if you need to pick up on it or something like that, but uh, those will get trimmed. Okay. So I use this tow rope um, and I, I go around the elevator. Um, and I'll go around it usually uh, twice. Um, I like it to catch on that eye screw just so it doesn't slide down. But in fact, I'm gonna go the other way. Try to think here. down there. Another reason why it's kind of nice to get it up in the air a little bit first is, you know, they'll put a little pressure on here. We've used um, a, like a fulcrum before, but So um, I try to set up the, the winch as straight as possible with this. And again, it's nice when it can be a little bit above hill. Depending on the size of your machine, you might have to block wheels. We've done that and, or use a- Chain it off to a tree or something? Rope it off, to, chain it off to a tree, get up next to a tree. Um, this one here I think will be okay. If he comes downhill a little bit, we've got, stuff to stop them but uh, down here uh, we do want so dad why don't you just snug that up that's good, good. yep okay so uh, Jared and I will probably go in the back and lift one guy usually does it but if we got two we'll use two um, this is probably gonna dig in real nice and catch 
uh, have used shovels there just to give it something to stop on. Um, but I don't think this is going to be a problem. So we'll move that out of the way. You're going to fire that up? Okay. All right, so we're just going to lift from the back. Uh, the key thing, once you're on the winch, stay on the winch. All right. Okay, now this is where you got to stay on it. There you go. Good. Nice and high. You don't think it's that high, but it's pretty good. Yeah, and so we're that landed real soft, of course, going uphill. Um, again, the key thing there, you gotta stay on that winch, because if you don't, and you, then people let off like they think it's going to. It takes a while to get it to the tipping point. And so, keep it coming. All right, so this is gonna get spun. Now, we know that those two legs are gonna have to end up shorter. Right? If this is where we were going to leave it and we weren't going to spin it, we would have cut these legs already and it would have looked a lot more level when it landed. It uh, would have taken just a little bit of tweaking to get it there. Um, I think we like, you know, I'd look at it here and say, I think this is the one we're going to spin on. Yeah. Bring those around. Up off this edge. Right? So you're going to end up here. Now we can, we can kind of spin it in place too if we like that spot. Right we can just kind of move them all around. So I don't know that it matters, does it? I, I would if it moves over that far. We're gonna like, we're gonna end up doing a little trimming right here, I think. Yeah. Um yeah I like the distance in. Right, agreed. So you know when this if this ever gets cropped again then it's out oh, of the way. Right. Okay, so we're gonna pick it and just pivot it off of that. Yeah and really I think off that leg. It, it, Looking at it now, it might not be a bad idea to kind of keep it towards this side. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know that it's going to matter that much. I'm just looking at where our ladder is going to, right now our ladder would be right here. Yeah. Okay, if we spin. It looks nice because the grass is old, right? Yeah, if we spin it more, we just got to yeah. knock some of this out. Easy enough. Yeah. I don't care. It, okay. I don't know that it matters. It seems easier to spin it on one leg. Mm -hmm. I'll do it either way. I like it. We're gonna get out of this. Okay, then. There. I'm just hung up on some stuff. No. One second. And maybe we can. Maybe take this one back. No, we could take that one back up the hill. Okay. So our ladder is going to be here now. You like that or do you want to go a little bit more? Uh, yeah, it looks like it could go a little bit more. And I got to get this rope out here Let's too. Take this, take this one down. You look at it. You're the one that's gonna. And it, it might not be a bad idea to look from the field. Yeah. Like, where are your shots? Obviously, we gotta level it, so. I don't know, man. I mean, having that window configuration leaves you a lot of options. Yeah, because they're deep enough to shoot a bow out of. And uh, I mean, you can open all, all four of those really. Right, with the, still blacked out on the back. Still blacked out on the back. Well, I'm going to cut these. 
tags off first. Um, we could remeasure. I mean, we know that's down that way. that's our longest leg. This is going to be our shortest. So we could certainly eyeball that and get us close. Yeah, I think if you if you think about it. Yeah. I don't think you're any more likely to kill deer when it looks nice, but oh, it makes me feel good. <laughs> I agree. We're gonna cut a leg. Dig this one a little bit. Yeah, I think we could certainly. Bottom ones aren't gonna be cut at all. And it doesn't hurt to dig stuff in at all either. Um, I don't bury in concrete. Um, I guess I probably set up uh, probably over a hundred. Um, they're in the UTV. <clears throat> and it's just never been, so, I mean, what do you, do you throw a level on the underside? Yep. Yep. So right now, if you put a level on it and you measure down the level, could you do that and then cut that off the leg? Yeah, the other way is if we just... Or you just adjust it. Run a board and figure out how much needs to come off. You so you... Are this or you gonna cut this off? We're gonna, I think, cut the top ones. You wanna get some weight on this, Dad, or? On what? what? That. Well, yeah. take some off. Well, no, I, we're gonna cut those off. Yeah. Okay. Should you want to bury this one first? I think we cut first. Yeah. Cut first. I just don't want to cut too much, so that's why I'm. Okay. Are you? And I get what you're saying. You're saying you're just gonna get this one in a little bit. You rather than cut that one, just dig it in a little. Yeah. That one could probably you be. Come down this way just a touch, right? Or, more than you think. Okay. Um, I mean, we had, has to. we had measured 16 inches before. Is that still accurate? So do you want this down now, you think? Before you start cutting over here, level it this way? Or you won't, I guess, because of that. That's, that's going to sit, yeah. <laughs> Got her, Jer? Mm-hmm. Over here, just saying a little prayer. He's having to be steady and straight. Yeah, I got pretty close there, I think, really. Oh my gosh. And then this way. And this guy's done. Oh. So I'll get a little. Should double check that height. I feel like we're tall. Nine and a half almost.
in my hand. Are you short with me? <laughs> I wasn't getting short. I'm gonna need this in here anyway. Put the platform on. Well, you guys are really good. That is. It could go down maybe an eighth. <laughs> that one's up in the air. Forget that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, and we got to Way up. Well, that's probably because we got to come. We got to come down quite a bit this side. Okay. That's a big down. Yep. Helps if you don't have a lot of rocks and tree roots. Keep coming. It's going in. And then you... The close? Uh, it's not in the bubble yet, believe it or not. There you go. You get someone to jump on it. And it's probably going to need to come out of this one a little bit, I'm guessing. It's funny how it can look level to the eye, but... Is it getting close? It's not... Does this one come down more? It's got to come down more. Come down? Yep. A little spade shovel out there somewhere in the, in the UTV. Now we're getting there. Yeah. This one's light, so that one's not touching much. Not much. So take a little more. Really good this way. We're just. It's funny how it feels level from where I'm sitting, but yeah, I can't even tell. How is it? Not even in the bubble yet. Got to go down out there. No, here. I mean, we're digging on the right side. There we go. I think at this point you could almost jump on that thing and there it went. Do the same thing on this leg. Big guy. <laughs> Solid. Yeah, and it's, it's in there now. We're good that way. Real close that way. So, I'd say it's essentially a wrap on that. Okay. And then you go back. back. It does, I can't, here. I know, I believe it, I saw it. The further away you get, the better it looks, I think. Now do you back and just fill this in? Yeah. for this day. <clears throat> so like I was saying before, there are brackets that mount here that you then drive rebar into the ground, but this has sort of been my tried and true, I guess. I think some people do one right down the middle. Um, I've always felt better spending 20 more dollars and putting two in. Yep. She really go. That one's going in really easy. I've never seen one go so easy. Maybe it's driver. I should bring you along on more of them. You're hired. Okay. 
Why do you think I jumped in so quickly? I don't know. Right underneath? Um, yeah, out just a little bit because those cables will come right on the outside of it. Here? Yeah. came down quite a bit. It was nine and a half. So it's nine, nine two. These we might replace with bolts later, I don't know. Quieter. This is, how big of a section is that? Uh, so there's one um, long section, two short five ones. Feet? Probably not quite, um, is that four maybe? Cool. And then the bottom legs extend. So we're gonna try it at, with all of the sections in and just yeah. play with the legs. If we need to take this section out, we will. Um, is there another, where's the other section? So there's a short one here and a short one here. Oh, there's two short And then a long one there. Okay. So we'll lay this out, it's kind of like a, tipping up a ladder stand. Okay. Um, so it's gonna be, this part's gonna be over there. Yep. I'm just gonna slap that down right there. So, Probably could have mowed this out a little bit, but this is what it is. I feel like it's gonna be long, but. Um, I can measure it quick too. are in a hurry. Uh, are those legs long right now or not touched yet? What's that? Are the legs stretched out at the bottom or? Okay. I got it right here. I think those legs are gonna have to get stretched out quite a bit. So I can. Got it? Well, yeah, I think so. Stretch them out. What do you think? Yeah, let's go there for now. Take the bottom leg out towards you, Jerry. There you go. Okay. Not right there. I will in a second. You got it there? Okay. I'm just trying to. Should have put my tool belt on. It looked a lot more. All right, so we just got to eyeball a doorway. 
right? With this? Yeah, both there. Okay, and then I need to come. I'm gonna just start on here. Let me go. What's that? I just want to make sure that door will. Yep. You could go a hair. Okay. Piece. So I'm gonna just. You got it there? Yep. Okay. Save there. Okay, so that's just kind of holding it now. I, you gotta, those legs gotta get longer before I tighten this up, I think. That's just gonna ensure that it doesn't fall out. What's that? Uh, it wasn't in all the way. I got one more here. Where's this one go? Bottom. <clears throat> yeah, she got a little tilt, we'll have to drop it. <laughs> got to shovel it down. You got a clip? I got two. Spot on. Well, they might have to go. We have to reach. Yeah, they'll reach. Might be right, oh, right there. I'll get it in a second. something to do with the left and right of it, I don't know. Bingo. Talk, I guess.
think there's a little, a small little socket wrench in there. Seven sixteenths, maybe. There you go. Nip this off here. There might be um, one with a little socket on it, Jer. Now there's more than one way to skin a cat. We all know that, right? Oh, I need another. I do use a closed end turnbuckle with a clip on the end, just in case it were to loosen up. If it's an open end and just hooked in there, it could come detached, so. short enough, long enough, I guess. Already. I was thinking more bush light, but <laughs> that too. Hand tight for now is probably okay. Oh, you, oh, that's right, I do have my vice grip. Did you just put that half inch in here? I did. Okay. Step inside. Go ahead. First guy. You earned it. Right. We should check, make sure that's on <laughs> <laughs> keep plays a G. Uh, I'd like to know, like, if I'm a deer out here, how loud is it inside if they're moving around? Let's try that again. Take two. All right, so we've, uh, we've wrapped up. We've got our cables tightened down. Um, 
everything's leveled out. Um, this was a pretty smooth setup. Uh, access was real easy. Um, had my right hand man, my dad, and a fairly capable Mr. Moore, Jeremy over there. So um, went pretty smooth. Um, I think sometimes access is, is key when you're looking at how difficult the setups are. Um, some people want to bury their blind in the deepest part of the farm and I think sometimes that poses some problems, uh, makes it difficult to set them up. Um, sometimes that's valuable just to bring deer to you, like kind of what we're doing here. So rather than bury ourselves in the woods, we're making a spot where the deer feel comfortable coming. Um, so we got our horny buck seed that's going to be going in here in, in the next half hour, um, ready to do that. We got the pole saw out, so we're going to get this thing pruned out so we can get back, see back into the woods. Um, this is really setting up more for, ideally for a youth hunt. Um, we really like this particular model for that. Uh, we can bow hunt out of it, but uh, really excited about the youth season with this. A uh, couple kids of my own and Jared's got one, now two. It's going to be a while before Lillian's shooting a gun well a couple of years maybe but uh, yeah this can be a nice site and nice upgrade to get a permanent blind in here but that's kind of the rundown on on how we set them up and uh, you know with a couple hands and uh, the right tools it, it can go pretty smooth um, I think we were here probably two hours hour and a half two hours but um, again this was a real smooth setup um, they don't always go that easily depending on where you're trying to put them so I uh, hope the tips are helpful and uh, you can set your own up if you so desire.